to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a Asian beauty haul. Asian beauty haul? Wait, what? Um, I'm going to be doing a Asian beauty makeup cosmetics haul. Um, I made one order from yesstyle.com which is a Korean website and girl this stuff took forever to come here I ordered this before Christmas and it only arrived now and it's now 2017 so um, this took a good long while to get to me so I'm apologizing in advance because some of these products are kind of now off of the trend a little bit but it's still quite fun to show off um, to all my American subscribers and North American subscribers who um, are interested in getting something cool and different. Um, I also went to, I Instagrammed this, and a lot of people asked me where this place was, but um, in LA, I found a Taiwanese, Korean, Japanese makeup cosmetics huge ass store, and it's called Image, um, Image, I guess? It's just called Image, that's what the store is called, and it's in Montreal Park. I don't know if I'm saying that right, Monterey Park, Montreal Park, whatever. Uh, I'm Canadian, I just moved here, I not just moved here, but I'm still quite familiar, not, what am I talking about? I'm still not quite familiar with the city and all the names and stuff, so yeah, I found that place, bought a bunch of stuff, and uh, lots of people were asking me about it, so this is going to be the haul for that as well, so yeah, let's get started. Here's the box from Yes Style Me, I'm just going to open it up. So already I can see like one thing that I got that was like fashion related, so I'm just going to show you guys that anyways throw this away first thing i got was this hat right here it is just uh, a cactus and i thought that was really cute um for when i visit the desert i guess i'm so sad that this came in so late because i was in the desert um, for, um at seven magic mountains a couple weeks ago and i thought this was going to be perfect for um photos there but unfortunately this came too late and i wasn't able to wear this so maybe if i'm in the desert another day um i can wear this hat and look super to the theme the inside is like this and the back says um don't walk but run which is kind of creepy but and yeah that's how it looks like it's so cute look at that little cactus hat i feel so cute okay let's move on i see right here right now is something that I'm really really excited about and the whole reason I made this order in the first place was something from the Tolly Moly Pokemon collection and yeah so cute um so this is the two-tone clutch this is how it looks like it's literally a little Jigglypuff um clutch bag it says Pokemon Tolly Moly and you can put all your cute little Pokemon cosmetics in there it is adorable and it is actually really well made for something that's plastic and supposedly cheap um it's well made it looks like very high quality quality like faux leather and yeah it also says pokemon love totally moly cute so that's the first in the excitingness of the pokemon collection let's move on really boring this is called my beauty tool and it is basically a headband from etude house you can push all the hair back so you can really um, wash your face without getting any product on your hair. But what I love about this is it has cat ears on it. Look how cute. So yeah, you're going to be... Okay, I look crazy, but um, I just thought this was cute with the little cat ears. I'm an obsessive cat lady. I love cats, as you can see with my little cat plushies in the background. I have like cat everything. So um, I loved it. I wanted to get it, so I did. So I added that to my order. Let's move on. Huge bag of makeup coming up next. So the next thing I got from the Pokemon collection is this. This is the Pikachu um, Pikachu Moisture Cream, and it's honey scented. And this is how it looks like. Also from Tolly Moly, big body cream. Um, it's 300 milliliters, and it is adorable because it has a little Pikachu packaging on it. And I thought it was super cute, so I had to get it. So I did. So this is another thing I got. So let's open this up and see how it smells. Okay, so it looks like this. It has the protective layer that you kind of gently... Ooh, look at this, you guys. Wow, it's really sticky. It's like gel. Oh my god, it smells amazing. It smells literally like honey. It smells like if you ever go to like a boba shop and you get something... Okay, honestly, it is so slimy. Ooh, it's nice, it's nice. It just melts into the skin. Ooh, it's a very light, artificial uh, sort of scent. This is how it looks like. This is how it looks like. It's just gel formula, and it just goes on the skin very gently. I'm just going to put this on my hand. Really light, like a very light, artificial honey scent. 
that's very nice it's very nice so as you can see it's like on my hands it's kind of like a slimy gel formula i like this i like it it's like gel face cream but like for your body wow that's really nice it smells really nice okay, so that's the pikachu totally moly face not face cream body cream it smells like honey it smells amazing it's a gel formula which is kind of cool because normally in north america all body creams are mostly cream or whipped or buttery to sort of um types of formulations but it's really interesting that in asia they have body cream that is actually gel formula so that's really interesting i'm excited to try this it smells really nice and it just absorbed right into my hands just now. There is a bit of a uh, layer, a protective moisture layer that I can feel physically on my hands. But that is very common with all gel formula types of moisturizers, especially ones from Asia. So that's what I got. Moving on. The last thing I got was Annie's Way. Okay, I heard Beauty QQ talk about this in a lot, like in a video from a long, long time ago. If you guys don't know who Beauty QQ is, she's a YouTuber here on YouTube, Queenie, and she is from Hong Kong. And she does most of her um, videos are in either Mandarin or Cantonese. Uh, fortunately for me, I do understand both. So um, I really, really love watching her videos. She has really weird, exotic products all the time. And so basically what this is, it's a hyaluronic um, brightening beauty jelly mask. And what it does is it basically takes out um, blackheads and whiteheads um, on your face. You, you put a thick layer on your face and all your impurities kind of float up into the gel. And then when you scrape the gel off, you just scrape off all of the impurities and all your clogged pores. So I thought that was really cool. So I decided to pick one of these up just to try because I heard her talk about it in a video from a long time ago and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was super surprised that they actually carried it on the Yes Me website. So I had to get it. Okay, moving on. The next thing I got also from the Tolly Moly Pokemon collection collaboration was the hand cream. Pikachu hand cream. This is also honey scented. So this one's a good one for the for on the go. My hands are always dry, especially here in LA because um, yeah, it comes with like a little seal. So I'm just gonna open that up and have a look. Um, and yeah. Hmm. This one's kind of like a different scent. It's kind of like a lighter honey scent. And I, I, I don't know if it's me or not, but I smell hints of vanilla in it. So that's really cool. That's the next thing I got from the Pikachu, or sorry, from the Pokemon collection. And what I, the thing I love about Asian beauty supplies and stuff is that um, they always do collaborations with really cute um, anime or really cute um, cartoons. So I'm always, a f I was always a fan of Pokemon. I'm a fan of Sailor Moon as well. And that's going to be in like the next thing that I show you, which is like the Sailor Moon collection makeup. So um, yeah, I love that they do cl cute collabs like that. And yeah, this is just another product of the cuteness that comes from Asia. So next thing. Okay, so the next thing I got from the Pokemon collection was this. This is the Jigglypuff or Purin. Um, Pokemon eye palette in number two and I thought this was super cute and I have to get it and I'm looking at the packaging now and it's adorable I freaking love Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff was always my fave Pokemon even as a kid when I had the Game Boy game um, I had Pokemon yellow and then I Okay, I went off on a bit of a tangent on Pokemon, so I'm just going to skip this whole part. I'm getting off topic. So here it is. Here is the Jigglypuff eyeshadow this is how the back looks like. Who cares? You guys want to see the inside, right? Okay, so let's show the little dose of applicator fell out. But here it is. It is absolutely... Oh, something else fell. Well, here's like the protective film that's supposed to be on it. It fell off. But look at this. This is so pretty. This palette is gorgeous because the colors are actually really, really neutral. And I can really see myself using the colors. So um, let's have a look and see how it swatches. Apologize for the nails. Haven't had them done in a while. So here's the first color. It's just like a nice bronze. Here's the one in the center. Ooh, it's really pigmented. And here's the last one. Wow, the pigmentation is crazy. Okay, I'm really, really happy with this purchase now. The pigmentation is so brilliant and it's so nice. The shadows feel really smooth on first touch and I really like it because it kind of resembles what I'm wearing right now, which um, I'm really happy about because these are going to be colors that I will be wearing. I'm excited about this. I love the packaging. It's so cute with a little pern or a little jigglypuff. You guys think this is cool as well. I think it's absolutely amazing. And I love these types of cosmetics co collaborations in Asia. They're so cute. I love this. I can't wait to use this. Okay, moving on. Okay, so 
let's move on. Okay, so the next thing I got was another Jigglypuff product, which is the Pure and Peach Pack. It is so adorable. Look, she's waving at you. Okay, let's keep going. And here is what here's what the actual product looks like from front to back. And da -da -da, this is how it looks like. It's just basically a powder for your nose. Um, so whenever you have oiliness or whatever throughout the day, you can just set your makeup with this and everything is good to go. And it is adorable. There is a pressed, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a pressed Jigglypuff on the actual product. She looks cute. I love it. I don't even know if I want to use this because it's so adorable, but I probably will use it. Um, and yeah, oh my gosh, it's so cute. Okay, so then... When you flip up Miss Jigglypuff right here, there is a little pour powder packet thing. Here is the little sponge that comes with it, so you can use this little portable sponge to dip, 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 and then powder your nose. So adorable, so cute. The packaging is everything. The packaging is so on point. I love it. Here's my little Jigglypuff. Her and I are going to go on lots of adventures together in my purse. <laughs> here comes the next product, also from Tolly Moly from the... Pokemon collection and here's the Pikachu Pokemon eye palette and yeah Let's go into it and see what colors I got. This is in zero one if you were wondering Let's just give it a moment. It is so adorable. Look at it. It's like Pikachu's about to jump and hug you uh, and I know from before and Here are the colors the tones to work with very neutral. Let me take off the little plastic fill. Here's the colors for the um, Pikachu eyeshadow and it's just beautiful taupe colors. Here's the first color. It's like a nice shimmer. Here's the nice transition color, a matte taupe. And then here's the darker taupey brown. Beautiful gray tone eyeshadows. Very easy to work with with any eye shades and I definitely love the pigmentation and the payoff. So cute, so pretty. I will be using this and I just think the packaging and everything collected together is, it's, this is just going to make for a beautiful addition to my makeup collection and I'm really happy to try this. It's so cute. It just gives me so much joy to look at something super cute, uh, especially when it's makeup related because I'm obsessed with makeup. Um, so yeah, that's that. So the final thing I got from the Pokemon collection. Oh, why did they put the stick? Yes, tell me why did you put the sticker like this? Um, it is the Jigglypuff hand cream as well. I need to peel this sticker off so you guys can appreciate the packaging. Why would you do this to me? Why would you? Like now, Jigglypuff pure and looks like she has a little crown. Let's rip. Oh, oh come on. Okay, so I finally got the sticker off and here is how it looks like. Here is the Jigglypuff Purin uh, hand cream. So cute in the same packaging. This one is rumored, I think, to be spelling like strawberries. I'm not sure. Let's give it a try. Uh, ooh, it smells so nice. It smells like peaches. Okay, so I'm wrong. It's not strawberries. So this hand cream smells absolutely amazing. It smells like their classic peach hand cream and let me just show you how their classic peach hand cream looks like this is how the classic Tolly moly peach hand cream looks like it comes in sort of a ass looking peach formation like this i'm all out of it and i'm so excited that the actual jigglypuff one smells like peach because that's my favorite all-time hand cream scent um from asian brands and i i'm really happy about this i'm gonna be using this all the time love it and when i'm done with it i'm probably gonna keep the packaging like a hoarder because it's adorable it's pink it's like the perfect shade of bluish blue tone pink and it's just adorable i love it that's the last thing i got from the pokemon collection so yeah so the next thing i got again why would you do this to me um just peel this off and not be sad about it okay okay so i got it off okay so the next thing i got was this guritama um little pour pack as well this is basically a uh, cotton, what does it say, sweet cotton pore cover powder. And again, it's for throughout the day when your nose is really oily or whatever and you need to set the makeup or absorb the oil off of your nose. So this is how it looks like when you open it up. It comes with the cutest little sponge like this. Pop, you pop that off and oh my god, that is so funny. That is so funny. It has like the little, has like the little Guditama with like, face down ass up and that there's the powder right there so basically this is a setting powder and i'm just going to carefully remove this top part with the cute little guritama here's the powder i don't know if you guys can see 
I think for my purposes, see there's like little holes behind the sticker. I think I might just poke little holes in it so I can keep the design because it is absolutely adorable. But this is how it looks like. Very cool, very cute design. Um, this is again for your makeup bag on the go throughout the day if you need to set your makeup, if you need a little quick little refresher. And I just think the packaging is absolutely adorable and I'm a huge fan of this um, sort of character from Sanrio. It's Guritama, it's a little egg. It's always in very funny compromising positions and I absolutely love the idea of it and I love the whole concept and I love that it's makeup and yeah, that's cool. So that's the final cute thing. Okay, final thing I got was from Innisfree. If you guys know, uh, if you guys know me, I loved Innisfree for a long time. I did a very, very popular Innisfree haul video a long time ago and I spoke about this particular mask. This is the... Um, Innisfree It's Real Squeeze Mask is in the Manuka Honey scent. I really love the Manuka Honey one, um, especially because it's really healing on the skin. And every time I use it, it gets rid of any pimples I have. It hydrates and it smells amazing. I'm a huge fan of, I think maybe you can tell by now. Um, I'm a huge fan of honey as a skincare product. And this is something OG that I always love. So I decided to pick up a large pack since I was making this order anyways, um, with all the products coming from Korea. So um, I'm really excited about that. Love this. It's one of my classic skincare hacks or skincare loves. So I thought I would share this with you guys as well. So now moving on to the Japanese makeup that I purchased in um, LA. Two coveted classic things that um, people have been raving about for the longest time, but I couldn't get my hands on. I was looking online, but online, even on eBay and everything, everybody just jacks up the price to like 40 bucks. And I was like, I'm not about to pay 40 bucks for something that is not worth 40 bucks, but so worth it. I finally got my hands on the Sailor Moon. Finally got my hands on the Sailor Moon eyeliners, um, and I'm just obsessed. I, as a kid, was clearly obsessed. First of all, I'm Asian, clearly Asian female. Sailor Moon was life. So uh, I'm so excited about this. I've seen this all over the blogs everywhere since the beginning of last year and I've been trying to get my hands on them for the longest time and I was so I was I was like taken aback when I saw this in person in a actual beauty supply store um, it is adorable I'm super excited about it and yeah so that's that I don't even know if I want to take it out of the packaging. I feel like one of those weird comic collectors who just wants to keep it in the packaging. I'm pretty I'm pretty sure I'm not going to use it. Um, but oh, I should have bought two. I should have bought two. I should have bought two of each to use and then I should have bought two extra ones to collect and just stare at because it's so beautiful. It's like everything my inner child wants and I absolutely love it. And yeah, I thought I would share this with you guys. It's a really good eyeliner as well. I've already seen videos online. I don't even need to open this to know that it's amazing, but I just freaking love the packaging. It is so adorable. So that's what I got. Let's keep going. The final product of this haul is this cute little thing right here. This is a cleansing water. It's very, very similar to that of Bioderma and it is and it is sort of the Korean version of that. And this is how it looks like. Here's the cleansing water and it is shaped like a pill. That is how it looks like. And it's from La Labiote. I'm not gonna about to try to pronounce this, but it's um, a capsule cleansing water. And what I love about this is, first of all, it's chic AF. It would look amazing on my counter. I love that this is kind of like a frosted glass sort of um, packaging and the top is just like light pink. And when you pop it off, that's how it looks like. And you just put your cotton and you press, 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 and you get all the product on your cotton and then you just remove your makeup. Amazing, the packaging is everything. It's sleek, it's cool. I think it's honestly just such a cool looking um, packaging and product, uh, which is useful as well because it's a makeup remover and everyone can use it. So I have to get this. This one is in the pink version. The pink is for sensitive skin. They have a green one that's for pimply people or oil, oily skin. I don't know why I keep getting emails. Oily skin and then they have an orange one, I think. Is it orange? Yeah, I don't remember the color, but an orange one for regular skin, normal skin. Or was it purple? I can't remember. But yeah, they have lots of different colors and they're all for a different purpose. And um, you can like look it up. This is from Korea. Love the packaging, the concept, everything. So cute. Love it, love it, love it. And that's 
the final thing that I got from my overall collective um, Korean makeup, Asian, Japanese skincare and makeup haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed filming it and sharing some of these exciting products with you guys. I'm super, super like hyped and pumped to even like use these products because I've been putting this off for quite a long time. I have actually got the package but then I was having technical difficulties with my camera so I couldn't upload anything and I was getting really frustrated so I was like putting off filming this until I figured out my technical difficulties because I didn't want to lose any of the joy and excitement of unboxing these really awesome and cool products so yeah anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give me a thumbs up leave me a comment down below what product you want to try and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video oh also if you guys want to see some of the updates of some of the cool makeup that i buy or some of the makeup looks that i don't post online you guys can follow me on instagram at i'm so wong number two and that one's my dedicated instagram to all things beauty related um i have three instagrams one's lifestyle so you can like stalk me and see where i travel to um the second one i'm so long two is obviously the beauty one and i'm so long number three is study inspo so if you guys are really into like pretty calligraphy and pens and agendas and planners and paper and stickers and paper goods um that's the one to follow so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys in my next one bye Pikachu! 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 Really, yes style me doesn't really care about packaging or what they're sending to people. I have to ruin it with stickers.